All of you join your hands, close your eyes, start chanting Om Karam. Oh. 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 Sairam, today we will revise. Today we are going to do the revision of the chapter Anomalous Turnip. Okay? This video we are Diksha app. So we will read from the Diksha app. Se padhenge, hai? Are you all ready? Show your thumbs up. Yes, 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 yes. Are you able to see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Better tell one student at a time, please. Don't unmute yourself. Isse pehle ke period mein mere saath network issue tha. Meri class mein network issue hai. Please, saare bache my unmute nahi karenge. Chhike? Chhike? From this textbook, we will discuss a unit that is unit third, and in that we will discuss the lesson, the enormous journey. So before we start the lesson, let's discuss something about vegetables. You know, vegetables are an important part of our diet. Why? Because it provides us the important vitamins and minerals, and by eating these, this protects us from disease. Let's see some of the common vegetables that we eat. This is the ripe and red tomato. This is the nutritious carrot. This is very good for eyes. Then you have the cauliflower. This is your favorite, the potato. Another favorite of yours, beans. And then green beans. And then another favorite of yours, lady's finger. Do you know, students, that many of these vegetables grow under the ground? Do you know which of these grow under the ground? Can you name some of them? Let's see them. See, these are some of the vegetables that grow under the ground. Your favorite potato grows under the ground. The beetroot, root, which helps you produce blood, produce is grown under the ground. Carrot grows under the ground. Onion, which is put in all the curries goes to the ground. The white radish also goes to the ground. And this is the journey about which we will read the lesson. This also goes to the ground. And do you know students that some of these vegetables grow under the ground and become very very big under the ground? See this picture. You can see a very very big carrot. It has become bigger than the ordinary carrot. And when something becomes bigger than the ordinary, we call it enormous. So this is an enormous carrot. Here you can see a very, very big radish. So it is an enormous radish. You can see this ball who is happy with this pumpkin. 
but it is bigger than normal pumpkin. So it is an enormous pumpkin. So students, today in the lesson, we will see that there is a turnip which becomes enormous. And we will also find out how the farmer takes it out. So let's start with the lesson, the enormous turnip. In this lesson, we will see about the wonderful phenomena of the earth that it can produce very, very big things. We will also see that when we work as a team, nothing is impossible. Even the impossible becomes possible. Hence, this lesson gives us the message that unity is strength. So let's get started, students. We'll start with the reading of the lesson. So please check out your books. And in this lesson, we'll see that a farmer has to work hard. He works hard to bring up his produce. And when it becomes very, very big, that is enormous, what happens? So we'll start the reading of the lesson. The enormous turn once upon a time, an old man planted some turnip seeds. The turnip seeds grew. The turnip seeds grew and grew. I want to pull up the enormous turnip, said the old man. The old man pulled and pulled. But he could not pull up the enormous turnip. An old woman came. I want to pull up that enormous turnip, said the old man. I will help you, said the old woman. The old man and the old woman pulled and pulled, but they could not pull up the enormous turnip. A boy came. We want to pull up that enormous turnip, said the old woman. I will help you, said the boy, the old man. And the old woman and the boy pulled and pulled, but they could not pull up the enormous turnip. A girl came, we want to pull up that enormous turnip, said the boy. I will help, said the girl. The old man and the old woman and the boy and the girl pulled and pulled. Up came the enormous turnip. We will help you to eat the enormous turnip said the old woman and the boy and the girl and they did so dear students we have just enjoyed the lesson now we will see the new words from the lesson see the first word what is the word enormous please repeat it after me enormous without unmuting yourself you just repeat the words pronunciation okay everybody Anish, are you able to see the video better? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What is enormous? You can see in this picture, there is a man with a normal, ordinary watermelon in his hand. And beside him, there is a very, very big watermelon. So what should be enormous? Yes, it is something very large in size and quantity. You can also call it Huge. So what is the word? Repeat after me. Enormous. Let's go on to the next word. Turnip. That is the name of the lesson. The enormous turnip. What is a turnip? Yes, it's a vegetable. A round root with white flesh which is eaten as a vegetable. It grows under the ground. That's why it's called a root. So what is the word? Turnip. Let's go on to the next word. Old man. See this picture? An old man is standing. So what is that? Kisne mic unmute kiya beta? Just write the hard words. The words which are they are showing you, you are supposed to write that words also. Okay? Yes, Chinmay, are you having any doubt? Everybody is supposed to write the hard words also. An old man, an elder male person. Have you ever seen an old man? Yes. Your grandfather, your home, is an old man. Next word is 
old woman. So what is an old woman? Yes, elder. Aman, mute yourself, beta. Elderly female person, the grandmother, old woman. Let's go on to the next word. This in the lesson. Pull. Please say it after me. Pull. What is pull? See this picture. A person is pulling a door towards himself. You can see the arrow, the direction of the arrow, the arrow shows it is moving towards himself. So what is pull? Pull is to exert force so as to cause movement towards oneself. So it says pull. Please repeat it after me. Pull. Wonderful. So students, now that we have seen the new words of the lesson, we have read the lesson. Let's go on to the question answers of the lesson. We will try to find them out from the lesson itself. So what is the first question? What did the old man plant? It's a question. What did the old man plant? Can somebody give me the answer? What did the old man plant? Ma'am, can I? The yes, ma'am. Ma'am, don't unmute yourself. If you want to give the answer, raise your hand. Raise your hand and give me the answer. Yes, Uttar Shok say. Ma'am, in all my Yes. So let's go to the lesson. You are supposed to write the full sentence also. Okay. Ma Else anybody? Yes, Kavya. Ma'am, Shanvi. Ma'am, Shanvi. Ma'am, Shanvi. Ma'am, Shanvi. Ma'am, Shanvi. Ma'am, Shanvi. I said to Kavyuddin, that means the rest of you just mute yourself. Yes, Kavyuddin. The old man planted the enormous running. Hmm. See, the beginning, season, once upon a time, the old man planted some turnip seeds. What did he plant it then? He planted some. He planted some trumpet seeds. Yes, he planted some turnip seeds. Where it is given? On which page number it is given? On Yes. Twenty-six page number it is given. And what is the line? On which line it is given? Where it is given, you show me. First line. Once and upon a time. Yes. Some turnip seeds. So what is the answer to the question? What is the old man? What did the old man plant? The old man planted some turnip seeds. Let's go on to the next question. Why was it difficult for the old man to pull up the turnip? Why was it difficult for the old man to Yes, who will tell the answer of it? Just raise your hand if you know the answer. Sanvi, please mute yourself better. If you are uh, Chinma, because don't start with because, don't start. no, don't start with because you're not supposed to start the answer with because. Mukund, yes, ma'am. Hmm. The old man pulled up the turnip because it was difficult for the old man to pull up the turnip because it was very large. Hmm. Very big. Because very big. Uh. The next one find it the lesson students. So it is written here, see, the word is enormous. So it was difficult for the old man. Enormous means huge. Because it was enormous. So repeat the answer again. 
You should use new words. You can write big, but since a new word has been taught to you, anonymous, then you are supposed to use that word. Okay? In answer, you are supposed to use that word. Anonymous, John. The question is, who helped me to love the anonymous John? Now the next question is, who helped him to pull up the enormous turnip. Can somebody tell me? Alina, Alina, Alina. She has raised her. Alina? Yes, ma'am. Who helped? Old Who helped? Boy and hmm? girl help the help the old woman to old woman. Old woman or old man? Unmukh Kasa, tell me the answer. Old man, boy, and girl helped the old man. Old man, old man helped the old man. Else, who can tell me the answer? Devanshi. Yes, Devanshi. Old woman, boy and girl help the help to pull up the enormous tree. They help who? They help to. They help the. Old man. Old man. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go back to the lesson and see where is the answer. See, here it is. So, help him means he was also pulling, but who are the other people who were pulling? The old lady, a boy, and a girl. So, the other people helped him. The old lady. A boy and the girl helped him love the turn. So the answer is an old lady, a boy, and a girl helped him to love the enormous turn. Let's go on to the next question. Who ate the enormous turnip? Now can somebody tell me who ate the enormous turnip? Sivika. <laughs> Hmm. Who ate the enormous turnip? The old man, the old man, woman, the, the boy and the girl. Hmm. The enormous turnip. Very good, very good. Who ate the enormous turnip? Let's go and try with the lesson. So here it is written. We will help you to eat the enormous turnip. So, help you means he, the old man is eating. Along with that, we. Who are we? The old lady, the boy, and the girl. So, what will be the answer? The old man, the old lady, the boy, and the girl ate the turn. So, again, you see the answer. Answer again. What is the answer? The old man, the old woman, the boy, the girl, eat the enormous turn. So that is the question answers. So now that we have discussed the question answers, let's write them in our notebooks. So what was the first question? What now, what you have to do, you have to write these answers in your notebook and send me in the class. 
okay what you have to do today's work today's work is you have to write the answers and send me in the class group now from today onwards we are going to do class work work abhi kar sakte hain ya aap mujhe karke bhej sakte hain theek hai samajh aa gaya aapko dono kaam karna hai ya to mujhe aap abhi karke bhejiye ya fir aap mujhe baad mein bhejiyega theek hai okay main and question bhi likhna hai कौन ये बार बार पूछता है बेटा क्वेश्चन लिखना है किसने पूछा मैं मुकुंद अच्छा बेटा हमेशा हमेशा बोला आपको हमेशा बोला है ना बेटा जब हम भेजते हैं तो आपको सिर्फ आंसर्स लिखने हैं क्वेश्चन लिखने की जरूरत नहीं है एग्जाम में भी आपको क्वेश्चन नहीं लिखना है क्वेश्चन नंबर सही लिखना है ये हमेशा ध्यान रखिएगा यू आर सपोज टू राइट द क्वेश्चन नंबर ओके okay. okay. सबको okay. क्या करना है क्वेश्चन नंबर जो करेक्ट लिखना है ठीक है अब मैं एक बार अब हम लिटिल बाय लिटिल का करेंगे एक बार प्रैक्टिस ये तो हो गया आपका अनोमस टर्न इप का यूनिट वन आज फिर हम शुरू कर रहे हैं लिटिल बाय लिटिल व्हाट इज लिटिल बाय लिटिल इज इट अ स्टोरी और इज इट अ पोम स्क्रीन Unit three. Good morning, dear children. Now we're back with some amazing story for you today. So, my dear children, now be ready for your activity time. Let's walk. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good morning. Good morning. I'm happy. Let's play. Straight up. Bend down. Spin your head and turn it around. Move your shoulders up and down. Spin your head and turn it around. Good morning, good morning. How are you today? Good morning, good morning. I'm happy. Let's play. So, students. Do you know the stage from where a huge tree starts its life journey? Yes, exactly. The life journey of a tree starts from a tiny seed. The seed transforms into a huge, or you can say, a big tree within a particular time. And think what a miraculous process it is, because the size of the seed. is just a small millimeters or centimeters and you my dear children are also growing like that you were in pants then you grew as toddlers then you grew more and now you are children you will grow as teenagers later as adults and all your learning through these years will help you settle in your professional and family lives as well that's how life is now listen to these lines just like an eagle that grows to be a tree you are grow each day and learning what should be just Like an eagle that grows to be a tree, you are growing each day and learning what to be. Children, acorn is a fruit of oak tree. It is a nut, usually containing single seed, enclosed in a tough cup-shaped leathery shell. 
Acorns vary in sizes. They can grow from one centimeter to six centimeters long. These are important. In fact, most important wildlife foods in the areas where oats occur. Creatures that make a corn as an important part of their diet include birds, such as pigeons, some ducks, and several species of woodpeckers. Small mammals that feed on acorns include mice, squirrels, and several other rodents. In some human cultures, acorns were processed for making them suitable for human consumption. Though they are now generally only a very minor food. Acorns are also rich in nutrients. Well, so much of knowledge is inspiring me to know how it grows in the wild. So be ready to dance to the tunes of Akhan song where it itself tells us its story. Let's start reading the poem little by little. Little by little, an Akhan said, as it slowly sat in its mossy bed, I'm improving every day. Hidden deep in the earth away, little by little each day grew, little by little in septitude, downward it sent, out a thread like root, up in the air, sprang a tiny shoot, day by day and year by year. Little by little, the leaves appear, and the slender branches spread far and wide, till the mighty oak is the forest bride. Till the mighty oak is the forest bride. Wow, this was fun. Let's sing it all together again. Now we'll be adding a lot of music to that and enjoy it again. Looking by little and a concert as it slowly sat in its mossy bed. I am improving every day, hidden deep in the earth away. Little by little, each day it grew. Little by little, it set the dew. Downward, it sent out a thread like root. Up in the air, spread a tiny shoot. Day by day, and year by year. Little by little, the leaves appear. And the slender branches spread far and wide. Till the mighty oak is the forest pride. Till the mighty oak is the forest pride. Now, it was really a fun to hear the acorn's story by itself. It describes how an acorn improves and enhances itself over the years as it lies. Buried deep underneath the earth, a root of the plant that grows downwards, simultaneously a tiny shoot of the plant appears above the ground and thereafter the leaves appear over it. Hence, the seedling gradually grows and develops into a sapling tree. After four to five years, the sapling then grows into a small tree that flowers and produces its own acorns. Many oak trees can live for hundreds of years, fruiting new acorns every spring and summer. And so the mature oak tree becomes the forest bride. So it symbolizes 
determination, willpower, strain, and potential with a lot of patience. Just like that, every kid also wants to grow up someday as a thoughtful, strong, capable, and patient adult, like an old tree. So you see, children, how the tiny seed becomes a giant tree. Let's rhyme again. And I want you to keep reading as well. So let's start. Little by little, an egg comes As it slowly sank in its mossy bed. I am improving every day. Hidden deep and deep at the way. Little by little, each day it grew. Little by little, it set the dew. Downward it sent out a thread like root. Up in the air spread a tiny shoot. Day by day, and year by year, little by little, the leaves peel. And the slender branches spread far and wide Till the mighty oak is the forest pride Till the mighty oak is the forest pride Oh great! I really enjoyed the did you? Keep rhyming this wonderful piece of poetry all day. Anyways, so I think we all will see how a plant or a tree grows from a seed. Let's sow a seed in our activity time today. Children, today I will tell you how you can sow a seed in the soil. And for this soil to turn into a plant, there are some things that are must. You must place this seed where it gets proper sunlight, air and yes, do remember that you have to water it every day. You will be surprised to see your own plant coming and settling, growing into a plant. And yet, it will be wonderful for you to see the flowers or the fruits that this plant will bear. So, let's start by sowing your seed. I would like to tell you, children, this pot has been made with the help of an empty cold drink bottle. I have made holes there so that whatever plant I plant inside is able to breathe properly. And I have decorated it so that it looks good. Now, the first important thing is that we place some stones here where we have done the holes. We will put some stones there. At the bottom. Then, right. right. You don't have to fill it to the top. Just leave this much space, at least this much space, that is, leave it a little bit of around one inch space. See, this should be left empty. Now, so you can use any sort of seeds. I have sunflower seeds. We can sow these also. What I wanted to, uh, you know, if you have to sow the seed, you can just put it here and put some more so soil over it. Cover it with the soil and then water. That is very simple. What I have brought for you today is that you can use tomato. You can plant a tomato plant and this will be very useful for you. Because your mom will be so happy. Because tomatoes are the things that are used in kitchens every day. So it will be very fruitful when you get your own fruits from your own farm. So I decided to plant a tomato. You have to cut it from the center. This you can give back to your mother. And just use one slice full of seeds. You can see the seeds inside. See, a lot of seeds are here, a lot of seeds are here. So, more chances of the plant to grow. Just put one slice in the center. See, you can see this? 
in the center like this. Now, put some more soil over it. Like this. Cover whole of the tomato like this. This the tiny, tiny plants that will appear from here in this pot. And then those plants will grow into bigger plants. So children, I hope you like this activity and you will be more happier when you see your own mango tree, the orange tree and see oak tree. Mm. Name the tree that the acorns grow into. Okay, okay. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. I told you. Very right. Oak tree. Wonderful. Well done. Well done, my dear students. So, option three. Oak tree is correct. Let's move to the second question. What things does a seed need to grow? I will see what a seed does the seed. Yes. Who will take the answer? Where can we? Chilman, 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 Alina, Chilman. Mute yourself. Everybody just mute yourself. Alina, mute yourself, Peter. Hmm. Now Shivansh is going to tell me the answer. Yes, Shivansh. Then I leave. I leave in eight minutes. You have to tell the answer. No, ma'am. What I have thing? Just only. Ah? Ma'am, I, ma'am, I can leave class in eight minutes. First of all, you tell the answer, beta. Later on, we will discuss that one. What things does a seed need to grow? Ma'am, water. Water and it's clearly and showing the picture. Else, everybody. Ma'am? Ah, yes, Chinwe, one thing. He uh, said, We water. need to grow soil, seed, water, and sun rays. Sunlight, yes. Else, anybody who wants to tell the answer? Yes, Sanvi. Ma'am, yes. Raise your hand if you know the answer. Raise your hand. I can see you all. Ma'am, raise my hand. Okay. A hmm. A seed needs a seed needs air, soil, water, and sunlight. Yes, Mukund. Ma'am, yes. No, you have to tell the full answer. Tell the answer. A seed needs. It seed needs to grow. To grow. Hmm. Air, sunlight, soil, and water. Alina. Thank you, ma'am. The sun needs. The seed needs to grow water, air. A seed needs air, water, soil, and sunlight to grow. Like this, you also you can write. Okay, now listen to the answer. Seed need to grow. Your options are A. Grass, plants, flowers, and water. B. Air, water, soil, and sunlight. Think, 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 think. What is the answer? Second. Second one. 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 Very right. So option B is the correct option. Well done, dear children. Let's start some other fun filled activities. Now look at the picture. Write three sentences on what trees give us. Think, look at this picture, what all can you 
Now what tree give us? Tell some sentence. One by one. One by one. One by one. One by one. Now, yes, Anvi. The trees give us fruits and vegetables to eat. Trees no. used in hey, one sentence. Only one sentence. One sentence. Everybody is okay. okay. One one sentence. Yes. Trees give us fruits and vegetables. Else, Alina. Trees give um. <laughs> Else anybody wants to tell? Chenmai. Tree give us medicine. Ah, they give us medicine. Else? Ma'am, Mukun. Yes, Mukun. Tree give us the fruit, vegetables, wooden. Wood, yes, wood. And the medicine. Ah. Anish? Undamaihi? Yes. After, after Anish, Devanshi and after Devanshi, Yata. Yes, Yata. Yes, Anish. The tree give us oxygen. Yes, they give us oxygen. Very good. Yes, Alina. Ma'am, trees give us wood. Wood, yes. Devanshi. Tree give us spices. What they give us? Spices. Okay. Spices. Else, anybody? Ma'am, Jivika. Yes, Jivika. Ma'am, we gave medicines, vegetables, fruits, and wood. And oh, okay. Just listen, listen. I can't notice. It's so happy. It is smiling. And I can also notice fruits. I can also notice some vegetables and I can see yes, birds it's a nest, nest also. And yes, look, medicines are also there. This means trees must be giving us medicines. Let me think more. Hey, look at the child breathing so happily. Yes, this means the tree has purified the air around him. Right. So, I think I can write these sentences. So, let's try. Uh, my first sentence would be, Trees give us fruits and vegetables. Yeah. Let's write it. Trees give us fruits yeah. and vegetables. Who is this continuously speaking out? Ma'am, ma'am. Ma'am, ma Alina. Alina, you have to class to leave class, so you can leave class to leave class to leave class. Okay, na? Bishma, disturb, beta, screen present, you don't see me, it's a disturbance, okay, beta? Okay, beta, now go, no problem. Okay, you have to leave the whole unit of textual question and answers, you have to complete it. You have to complete three questions from home, and three from chapter 2, and three from chapter 4 questions, total six from home, three questions from home, और चैप्टर में से फोर क्वेश्चन आंसर्स टोटल सेवेन क्वेश्चन आंसर्स यू हैव टू डू एंड यू हैव टू सेंड इन द क्लास ग्रुप ओके हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन आंसर्स सेवेन वाव गुड नाउ द सेकंड सेंटेंस इज ट्रीज गिव अस फ्रेश ऑक्सीजन द मेडिसिनल क्वालिटीज हेल्प अस इन मेकिंग मेडिसिन्स Done. All my three sentences are done. Let me read them again for you. Look at them. Trees give us fruits and vegetables. Trees give us fresh oxygen. The medicinal qualities of trees help us in making medicines. Okay. So this means all three sentences are done. Let me read them again for you. Just look carefully. Read along with me. Number one, trees give us fruits and vegetables. Trees give us fresh oxygen. The medicinal qualities of trees 
help us in making medicines. Now look at the second picture. This tree looks so sad. This tree is weeping. Can you see the tears? And what all this tree has? Even the birds are leaving this tree and flying off. Can you imagine why the birds are leaving this tree? The nest is distorted. And I can see a rubber tire there. And an eraser there. And I can also see the slabs of wood. And I can also see the burning of wood around this tree. Oh, my dear children, even I am feeling sad. Look at all the pollution that we have caused. We cut the tree for rubber and we also cut the tree for wood. And we also burn that wood and cause air pollution. And I think the birds also flew away because of all this pollution. Hmm. My first sentence is, we cut trees for burning and cause pollution. I repeat, we cut trees for burning and cause pollution. Number two, write down, we cut trees for the need of land and for the want of wood. I repeat my sentence. Please look carefully and also keep writing in your notebooks. So the sentence is, we cut trees for the need of land and for the want of wood. Now the next sentence is, we spray toxins and birds leave the trees. We spray toxins and the birds leave the trees. Now match the opposites as one has been already done for you. Look here. Now make new sentences by replacing these words with their opposite words. One has been done for you. The first word is mighty. M-I-G-H-T-Y. Mighty. Opposite of mighty would be we. We, yes. Opposite of mighty is we. The sentence of mighty is Rahul is a mighty boy. So, we will replace the word mighty with the word we. we, which is the opposite of mighty. And the rest of the sentence remains the same. So, the new sentence becomes Rahul is a weak boy. In this way, both these sentences have become totally opposite in meaning just by changing one word. Isn't it a wonderful activity to do? Let's change the meanings of other sentences as well. So the first word is downward. D-O-W-N Downward. Downward opposite is? Upward. Upward. The Very good. Upward. Downward. I repeat, scroll it downward. Now you have to replace... What will the opposite of it? What sentence will be? Scroll it. Downward. It's then uh, opposite of scroll it. Upward. Upward. Scroll it upward. Scroll it upward. Yes. Very good. Scroll it upward. Excellent. Excellent job now. Look at the second word now. Slow. And think of the word opposite of slow. Opposite of slow is fast. Very good. Very good. The sentence is the earth was slow. Now you repeat the whole sentence by replacing. Now what? what the elbows fast. Yes. With a Yes. The elbows was fast. Yes. Very good. Okay. Now your word is little. 
Second, the little girl is happy. Opposite of little is big. Now you change. Yes. Let's move to the next word. Slender. S L E N D E R. The sentence is: Roman is very slender and tall. Now you try to replace the word slender with its opposite. What is this opposite of slender? Nine. Ah, huh? then say fat. Yes, fat. Okay, very right. Robin is very fat and tall. Very right. The next word is day. Yes, and the sentence is it was a beautiful day. Day opposite of days. Nine. 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 It was a beautiful night. Okay, what to write? It was a beautiful night. Nine. Nine. Okay, okay. Make the opposite sentence. Yes. It was a beautiful night. Okay. Now, uh, I stop. What do you understand by the word slender? Slender को हिंदी में क्या बोलेंगे? Ma'am tall. Slender. Ma'am patla. Patla. Okay. So here we are going to conclude our revision. I gave you revision of unit. Which unit? Little by little. little. Which unit it is? No. 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 Yes, it's unit three. Unit three. Unit three. I gave you the revision of unit three. So what you have to do? You have to write all the seven answers and send me in the classroom. Understood? Reading fun four question answers from enormous turnip and three question answers from little by little. Understood? Everybody has to do okay. and have to complete. Okay, and send me in the classroom. Okay. So tomorrow, what we are going to do? We are going to do the revision of unit two, and day after tomorrow, okay. unit one. Okay. 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 इतना लिख पाएंगे आपको और भी सब्जेक्ट का काम रहता है ना बेटा आप इतना ही लिख लीजिए ठीक है होम का नाम डाल दीजिएगा लिटिल बाय लिटिल और उसके आंसर्स फिर द एनॉर्मस टर्निप उसके आंसर्स लिख करके भेज दीजिएगा ठीक है फिर मैं थर्सडे को भेजूंगी और एक एक्स्ट्रा रिवीजन ओके ओके एंड वन डे आई एम गोइंग टू ऑन वेडनेसडे आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू अ गूगल फॉर्म I am going to give you a Google form in that all the syllabus will be covered. A revision of Google form. Oh. Ah yes, all. Because on Wednesday I am going to complete my syllabus. Then revision of syllabus. Then on that day only I am going to give you a class a Google form test that you have to do. Can we conclude our class with Shanti Bhat? Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Saira. 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 Saira, ma'am. I have a doubt.